What's up guys? This is Alina with Bonanza Crib and today we're gonna review another interesting ISO project, Yumirium, an earn to play video game blockchain platform. One of the areas that seem most ripe for blockchain implementation is the video game industry. While thriving and hugely popular, it also suffers from a number of major problems that prove especially hobbling for the small or indie game developers who match of its creative vanguard. Crowdfunding and digital distribution are two vital mechanisms behind the current and golden age of video games, but both are generally conducted through third-party platforms that require large fees. Large companies are difficult to compete with in marketing. They are also much better equipped for the digital rights management arms race with video game pirates. All of this takes a big bite of smaller any budgets, discouraging developers. Decentralization through blockchain technology could be the solution to at least some of those problems. Subdrum Studios, a social VR game developer, offers one way in which this could be done. This city is a video game distribution, promotion and crowdfunding network, fueled by a specialized Humirum token, used both for regular transactions and as an incentive mechanism for players. Humirum will provide a number of promotion options to developers who choose to add their mobile or PC games to its store. Most of them will revolve around the use of Umarum tokens, a certain amount of which will be allocated to each game as a smart country's controlled seeding fund to be used in incentives. When it runs out, developers could buy more Umarum tokens, with which to give out more rewards or access other marketing options. Players whose accounts will be linked to their wallets will receive Umarum rewards for certain gameplay achievements, top scores, victories in tournaments, referrals done with a special code and reviews. All of this will be done at the developer's discretion, and they could determine the details and timing of reward programs or set up their own reward mechanisms if they like. For instance, they could create and integrate their own review sites. Otherwise, reviews will be made on the platform itself, with rewards determined by their upvotes. The incentive program will run on smart contracts, executed either automatically or after developer's approval, with a special formula that will ensure diminishing returns with every transaction, meaning that the earliest players will get the biggest rewards. Both game and in-game purchases made with your mirror will come at a discount. Developers will be able to offer exclusive collectibles and limited edition copies to players who would be able to display them to others, along with their verified achievements and stats. Ownership on both developer and user side is going to be reinforced through smart contracts, which would create more options. Developers will be able to implement seamless share distribution on purchases. Players will be able to sell their licenses on Umirum's second-hand game market, with part of the profit going to developers. Open source as the case will be available to easily integrate Umirum's mechanism with all power game engines, with new ones being added on request. Last but not least, Humirium will also provide a centralized crowdfunding options that could be used on the platform or on the developer's sites. All contributions will be handled through smart contracts, ensuring both reliability and transparency in all transactions. Optionally, developers could implement gradual transfers in which they will receive a part of the funds for reaching every milestone, proving their commitment to going all the way and gaining the contributor's trust. Yumirum offers its users all the usual advantages of blockchain technology. By cutting out the middleman, it should reduce costs for everyone involved while giving them added flexibility, security and transparency. On top of that, it gives developers many tools with which to track players while also deterring pirates, who should find it impossible to gain the same advantages as paying customers. Using token rewards should both encourage active and early engagement with specific games and help tie together a broader ecosystem in which rewards earned in one game can go towards buying or funding another. Taken together, the platform's features should make game development more affordable for smaller developers while also giving extra value to their players. Subdream Studios is an experienced game developer and has important partners in the cryptocurrency.
gaming and VR gaming industries. It also has skin in this game and the first game to be added on the platform will be its Encrypt Mine, a free casual strategy game in which players will be able to earn prizes, setting them up for further participation in the system. Its connections should help it attract other developers as well. Unsurprisingly, given the company's roots, VR games will be fully supported and the system will be connected to the VR Plus chain or arcade in South Korea owned by the same company. There has been some recent dissent among the gaming community towards existing game distribution and payment models, and Humira might be able to capitalize on that. For some time now, two models have dominated the video game market – pay-to-play and free-to-play. The latter of which is generally a misnomer as despite players being able to play freely. These games often offer a large amount of in-game purchases that offer a completely different level of quality. Yumirim offers a genial alternative to those increasingly unpopular options. Earn to play in which players will not only invest their money in the product but also get something back that could be reinvested elsewhere. It is an interesting proposition but, of course, its success is far from assured. In addition to attracting enough developers and players, Humirum will also have to make sure that its token will be worth something for its incentive models to be worth anything. It may also want to keep an eye on competing blockchain-based game platforms that offer comparable advantages. The quality of the games it attracts is also important, as marketing cannot rescue a bad product and many casual games leave much to be desired. Still, its design is original and purpose-driven, and given the right execution, it could become a serious player on the market. Please note that this review about Bonanza Group is all opinion and analysis, not investment advice. So thank you guys for joining us today. If you want to learn more about this project, please follow the links below. Subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments. It was Bonanza Creep, and I'll see you guys in the next video.